Hey guys, how's it going? Culprit here, and tonight I'm going to bring you a little funky little game. Uh, this is Rush 32 Man um, on what is this called? No Shark Canals. Unfortunately, I've been having continued audio troubles, like I mentioned in the dual com. So I lost all the audio on this match, and I'm playing with a couple subs and a buddy of mine. Uh, they were jumping in and out. Skid Kid's a good buddy of mine. He is actually just brand new to PC gaming. Literally just like unboxed his PC a couple weeks ago, and this might have been his first multiplayer match or two. So I give him props for just jumping in and trying to be a team player. Admiral, you guys have all seen before. I was playing with Mandalore or, or earlier. I think uh, Juets was in here as well. He might have been on the other team at a time too because we had a full squad and he just ended up on the other team. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun to see familiar faces popping up a lot more these days. So I'm going to try and do just a little commentary where I talk about my gameplay. No real overall topic. I'm just going to critique what I do. I'm going to hand out props to the squad mates, maybe talk about what I might do differently, what I, what I like, what I did, that kind of thing. Uh, basically a little play-by-play. Just kind of, I just felt like talking kind of freely tonight. I didn't want to have any big thought out process. Here, this we what we do here well is we get B first. Uh, I think that's very, very important. B is just so super wide open that if you don't get it first and say you get A, now they're all they can have so many long sight lines to kill you at B while you're arming. It's really tough. Uh, Admiral does a good job there with the Amtrak, keeping it moving, keeping it back and forth. So it's a hard target to hit. But yet it's predictable enough for me as the gunner to kind of compensate and shoot pretty good. Eventually we did get C4, but that's not really that surprising in a tiny little area like that. So now I'm on foot, and uh, we need one more arm. Obviously I know you know there's a lot of guys that's going to be in this building. It's going to be pretty highly concentrated as it's the only one we need left. So that's always when you got to be a lot more careful. And you'll see me, I move a lot slower, just focusing more on clearing the buildings, not rushing to the, to the MCOM. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with my play here because usually I do rush too much. So it's nice to watch myself play it pretty slow and then eventually see it pay off as a matter of fact. Here I panic a little bit with the Jeep running up. But like I said, now I now I definitely know that there's a lot of guys in here. Throw the grenade. I decide not to chase. I'm not really sure why I didn't do that. I don't I don't I guess I just wanted to stay on the flank and, and keep working around the corner. It, like I said, it ends up paying off. I see all the dead bodies here, and this is a little rushed. I probably shouldn't have went that quick. That's a little on my self-creep, but there, I mean, it pays off. I managed to get the arm. This guy goes down. Uh, if I had the comms, you guys would hear me now yelling in there, you know, grenade, 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 grenade the MCOM, grenade the MCOM. Somebody does, they clear it, we get the MCOM. So we, 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 we now, we're now moving right up onto the second set. This is where rushing really does help. Look at me. I, we run right up here as quickly as we can really don't mind if I do, you know, on on a company MCOM, I'll arm it. Here's a, a good tip that I want to show you. Look, I see this one guy, I go to engage, and I get the second one. Now, see, that is a tip about keeping your crosshairs high, head high, and and I can't I can't stress that enough. It's something I'm working on a lot lately. I'm trying to make it a priority for myself. I'm just gonna throw a grenade right there on the MCOM, help defend it a little bit in case someone sneaks in for the def uh, the the disarm. But like I was saying, if you can keep your crosshairs high, head high-ish, you're going to get away with a lot of stuff like that. Like, I had no, that was a crazy rocket. I had no idea that that guy was there. You know, normally he would have surprised me. And if I had my crosshairs down a little lower, he might have gotten the kill because I was already engaged with the other guy. So by having the crosshairs high, I, I got the first guy, and that guy just basically walked right into a headshot. He had no chance. That um, that happened to me a couple times this night. That's why I'm bringing, you know, mentioning it. Because, you know, I'm, you guys are only seeing it once. But it literally did happen to me probably four, five, six times where I had no idea a guy was there. And he just ran right into a headshot. So definitely try to work on that if you're looking for a little tip. It's something I, like I said, I'm working on as well. And here I am. I'm, I'm not pushing straight up that hill because it, it can be a death trap. We did try to go to the right side. It, it was a just a bunch of follies. We, we were in some vehicles and it just didn't work out. They had it really, really well defended. I get chewed up by the vehicle there. No, no, I guess I didn't. I thought the vehicle got me. Uh, so I decided to flank left and just try and hold off the reinforcements. Here we get it armed. We're trying to defend. There's a whole bunch of guys in that building. And this truck rolls up. Luckily, they take it out. There wasn't much I could do as a medic, so I just tried to hunker down. This is They're, they're down. I see I threw my own grenade. I'm, so now I have to wait before I can go and revive them. But I did manage to get there before the timer ran off, which made me feel a lot better. Because if they would have expired while I was waiting for my very own grenade to explode, I would have felt pretty bad. I want to take a moment here. Rush, I mean, most of you guys know this, but tickets are super, super important on attacker side. You can make an argument that reviving your teammates is more important than killing the enemy. So, especially as a medic, I mean, now I'm not saying go Rambo, revive, don't run around, don't risk yourself. But definitely, 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 you know, prioritize revives over running forward or anything like that. 
because especially on like a, the, the higher servers, like 32 man, obviously 42 or 48, 64, whatever, you know, you can use li lose lives so quickly. I mean, look at us. We haven't really even moved up to the next MCOM yet. We were already bleeding. So you've really got to You've got to try. If you can get those revives, it could really make a world of difference. So here you see, we're trying to make a little run now down the left flank. I believe it's Admiral right behind me, if I remember correctly. He actually gets taken out, and I don't know from where. So I go back, get his revive. He must have gotten taken out from behind, and I'm just not ready. You know, I, I had I had cleared that corner before. I didn't see any enemies, so I just assumed. Obviously, never assume. So that was my mistake. I at least should have had my gun up. Uh, I was rushing way too much. You know, we, there was no need. We we're, were set up pretty good there. We didn't have to. I didn't have to be running so much. We're in a good spot. We could have worked our way, peeked some corners, and really done a much better job there. Obviously, we do get the Amtrak. I'm trying to just kind of pull it up. You know, clear some guys, cut some guys off from the building because their spawn point is back there, uh, down by the river there. I'm also trying to use like just keep this relatively close so that it has you know it can be act as a spawn point for the rest of the team, not just the squad. Uh, we do a pretty good job of this. Uh, eventually, though, you know, guy, I see some guys getting into the building. It's obvious that there's guys, you know, holding up just outside the building there. So I decided to push it up a little, little further. Not just yet, because obviously I'm taking some heat there. These things are just so tough. They're so hard to kill if you don't give them a good shot. So if you keep them behind some cover and just kind of always smoothly moving, I really wanted to get that soul flam out of there, but my gunner didn't didn't go for it. You see a lot of sniper slopes up there on that little hill back there. So I decide now it's time. Let's, let's just go for the MCOM. And I decide I'm just going to jam this thing in here and leave him. Let him, you know, I'm hoping that he stays with the gun. And I can jump out and engage as well. I pull back just because I see that armor there. I want to give him a little more cover. But then I try to get him in a good spot where he can cover that MCOM. And I jump out. He stays with the gun. So now that thing can act as a really nice spawn point for everybody. It, obviously, you guys know how powerful the gun is, but now I can go on foot and I can do some work myself. Uh, there's really no sense in me staying in the vehicle at that point, you know, because I'm not going to do, you know, I'm, I can't really do much. But yeah, we we're able to get the flank on. And, you know, obviously, it's awesome seeing a squad mate follow and we're able to kind of cut them off, clear them out, and it buys us enough time to get the arm. I saw a heads uh, teammates in there, decided not to go in there and armor myself. I figured I'd go in an overwatch position. And I can't really say anything, you know, it definitely works out. I don't know what the other team was really doing. They didn't really push that much. Like, if you see the vehicle, it's pretty far back. And he's been back there the whole time. So, I, I, he's basically just shelling the building, is all he's really doing. Obviously, shows it, it, it wasn't very effective. So, yeah, we managed to hold this one off as well. We got this one pretty easily. Like I said, if they would have brought that armor up, it probably would have made it a lot harder for us. So here we immediately, as soon as that MCOM goes and you know you get the all clear, we're pushing far, far to the right. We could obviously see between that so flam, all the sniper glints, and that vehicle that the left side was not the way to go. And you can get penned in along the left because of the water there and everything. So I, I prefer to go to the right. The problem with right is there can be some really long sight lines, like just like this. And I was having a really hard time hitting these guys. I don't know what what was going on. Uh, I was getting kind of frustrated. But but if you can clear these long sight lines, look at the amount of ground I can gain. You know, we make two kills. I, I believe my squad mate, if it was Admiral, I think he got picked off. But at the same time, I mean, I just got a couple hundred yards by killing two enemies. You know, I, I pushed a little too hard here. I probably should have taken it slowly. Should have waited until a squad mate or two spawned on me. But, you know, there was no harm, no foul. I ended up getting away with it. Got the two picks. I don't know why I took my bullet off, my gun off that guy. But, you know, nice little metal there. See guys falling again. Tickets, tickets, tickets. We're in a good spot. I'm relatively safe. I got plenty of cover. Go get those revives. Keep the guys, especially when we're this close to the to the crate. You know, try to keep as many guys up as you can. And and I I managed to get picked off. I was I was getting a little lazy. This I wanted to mention here. This is a good job by Admiral. We were in the comms. Obviously, we were we were squatted, uh, skyped up. And I'm saying I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Stay alive. Give me a spawn point. It, it proved not to be necessary because the Amtrak was right there. But, you know, you saw him. He was behind cover. He was staying back off the firefight a little bit and provided me a really nice spot to spawn. And, and that's just good squad play. That's good teamwork. And right there, Skid, he's got the Amtrak right up close. Not in the middle of all the shit, but, you know, close enough that, look, I, I was able to spawn right in and be right on the right on the crate. So, you know, it's just good good team play all around. I was really happy with this round. It was a tough night. You know, I, it was really tough night. We ran into a lot of really bad teams, but this was a good match. 
and I was really proud of how, how well we all worked together, considering that most of I mean, I've played with Admiral a bunch of times, but and I played with Skid quite a bit on the uh, Xbox, but not on PC, and he, and he was just learning himself. So, you know, I'm very happy, and it's it's always a lot more fun when you're calmed up and, and you're playing as a squad. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I got a little bit back more to my, my tactical talk. I know it wasn't really tactical, but, you know, it's kind of play-by-play -play on my gameplay, talking more about the gameplay instead of, you know, channel updates and things like that. So, look for more to come, and I will be posting more about the, the platoons very shortly. I'm going to decide a name. I might do a poll or something like that, but, but look for something that very soon. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off after that. I hope you guys are having a good day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.